Canes are back at it after a week off for spring break. Let's recap day four. What's going on, Canes fans? Spring practice number four is officially a wrap, and I'm going to take a few minutes and summarize it for you. But before we dive in, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We welcome fans of all teams here on the Coach Coop YouTube channel because who doesn't love keeping up with Canes football? Let's all be honest here. Come on now, you know I'm looking at you, Florida State fans. So day four was once again helmets, shoulder pads, and shorts. But I would say the biggest story of the day was several players practicing for the first time this spring coming back from injuries. Today, you got to see Akeem Mesidor, Damari Brown, and even Robert Stafford out there going through the drills. Obviously, it goes without saying, but having guys like Brown and Stafford back is huge because it's giving some of those guys at that position a bit of a breather. But while we're talking about cornerbacks here, another big story coming out of day four was the fact that wide receiver Robbie Washington was actually seen taking reps with the corners. He was out there getting in some cross training today, and I heard that he actually did quite well. For those of you that don't know, he did play some defense at the high school level, and there were many people out there that believed he can find success there in college. The big question here, though, is if this is going to be just a temporary spring thing, just to kind of help with the depth or well, rather lack thereof in that position group, or if this is something where he could maybe take advantage of this opportunity and earn some playing time during the season. If he wants to make an impression, now would definitely be the right time to do it because the opportunity is there. It was refreshing, I will say, to see more than just four corners out there practicing today. And at times you had at least six because you had Brown, Porter, Richard, Freeney, Stafford, and Washington. It was also pretty exciting to see true freshman tight end Elijah Lofton make a sick little one-handed catch at practice today. Now, it was slightly underthrown by Emory Williams, but it did draw a flag, and Lofton was able to come down with it anyways. Now, we did already talk about running back Henry Parrish hitting the transfer portal today in my previous video, but luckily, both Citizen and Johnson have been impressing so far. The biggest question with those guys and the rest of the running backs, though, is going to be seeing how they look in full pads and contact. It's real easy to say that they look great right now, but time will tell. I am still very hyped up. I'm not going to lie. I'm drinking a little bit of the Travante Citizen Kool-Aid, but that's because I'm a huge fan of Citizen, and I feel like he has a very high ceiling super athletic he just has to be able to overcome in my opinion the mental hurdle from the injuries that he's had to deal with during his time at Miami now another bit of news in the running back room is that Mark Fletcher is supposedly going to return sometime in the summer there's been a lot of question marks surrounding his injury and how serious it is and if he was even going to possibly miss some of the first games at the beginning of the season but in an interview, Mario Cristobal said he believes he'll be back sometime in the summer, so hopefully that is in fact the case. Now, one quick disclaimer. I added this in my previous video. I don't think you guys can hear it, but my new doggo that we adopted, Maxwell Wigglesworth, is on my couch about three feet away snoring extremely loud. So if you hear that at any point in the video... <laughs> I didn't fall asleep while editing and forget to turn my mic off. That's just my new dog over on the couch taking a nap. So talking wide receivers here for just a moment. Xavier Restrepo continues to impress and win those one-on-one -on -one battles against Mish. But who I really want to talk about is Shamar Kirk. He probably had his best practice so far out of all the spring practices. I don't think he dropped a single pass today and I'm really hoping that he can be an impact guy he's someone that can kind of 
you know, raise the bar in that room and kind of push and, and, you know, have everyone competing out there because Shamar Kirk shows a lot of potential and I don't want it to be wasted, but he's definitely got to take that next step. But more competition in that room would be really good. And speaking on the trenches, there's still obviously some shuffling and experimenting happening, at, happening as the staff tries to figure out the most effective combo on the field, which is to be expected. It's still super early in spring, still not full pads, but I'll keep you posted on how the, the competition plays out. Safety Zaquan Patterson almost had a couple of picks today, but he just couldn't quite hold on. But even with that being said, he's shown great instincts so far, especially for a freshman. And you can just tell how much the dude loves football, and it really shows. And finally, to wrap this thing up, I debated not putting this into the video at all because I don't have any context. I don't have any extra details. I haven't seen video proof of this. I'm just relaying the message. I heard that Cam Ward might have had a fumble or two today. Now, either way, even if that was the case, obviously that's a bad thing, but it's also not the end of the world because, again, I don't have any context, don't know if it's true, don't take it and run with it because I just I don't know. So a lot of people are going to say, Coop, why even put it in the video then? Well, you're probably going to hear other people talk about it. You're going to see it. You're going to hear about it. People are going to discuss it, especially when it has Cam Ward and Fumble in the same sentence because we all know that that was a, a pretty big problem for him before he came to Miami. No matter why you believe that was an issue, it's still something that is going to be talked about. So there are rumors that he did have a fumble or two today, but again, I can't confirm it. I don't know the details, so I'm just really not sure. But I wanted to relay the message, hey, just in case. So overall, though, you know, day four, I'm really waiting for it to be full pads, full contact, so we can really see how some of these guys look, especially the running backs and, and a few other guys. So let me know your thoughts. Spring practice, day four, down in the comments. Let's chop it up a little bit. I'm seeing super low interaction on the spring practice videos. And I don't know if it's just people are tired of them. Like, let me know. If, if you don't want day by day, that's fine. Just give me some feedback. Maybe we do a whole week at a time. Uh, you know, I don't really know, but I'm seeing a lot of low interaction on the spring videos. Or maybe people don't like the way that I've revamped it and redone things. And that's A-OK. -okay. Hey, we're always working, trying to improve and get better. But a quick little summary, day four. Let's chop it up about something down in the comment section below. Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see y'all in the next one.